Welcome back guys in this class we are going to study about the strings like what are strings and how we use them and there are different built in methods of strings so we will discuss all of them so you are already familiar with strings and string data type so in this lecture we are uh, studying in detail like strings are collection of alphabets and words and close in quotation mark as we have already discussed that and this is example like we can use the single quotes and double quotes and we can also use the three double quotes for multi line string right so these are the example like this is the string in single quote and this is the string in double quote and the most important thing here is plus sign we use this addition or the plus sign to concatenate the two different strings this is the example of concatenation like x is a variable and containing the word hello and there is another variable which is x as well so we are actually updating the x by uh, concatenating this previous x with this word there basically concatenation just join two strings so it is actually joining the two strings so x contains hello and then it will be concatenated with this there so the answer is hello there so now let's move on and at the end of this lecture we will do different examples okay so string substring and method so substring is a part of string sometimes we just need to uh, deal with uh, only a certain part of string so in that case we use substrings and there are different method of strings in python which are completely built in so this is the most common method which is length l e n is the short form so length string and it returns the number of character in the string and str is a data type returns a string representation of an object and the list contains all the built in function of python so we will use some of them so we will perform some of them so we will use some of them in our examples okay so without wasting any time let's jump to the code editor okay guys right now i am in my code editor and this is python ide so first of all i am declaring two variables uh, containing string so str1 and type here something hello how are you right this is string one and now declaring str2 this is another variable and in this case i'm using single quotes for the string representation so i am fine right okay so first of all i am doing the concatenation operation so what i'm doing here i'm taking a variable which is like x and i am just concatenating str1 plus str2 this how simple is this now let's print x hello how are you i am fine so this is the simplest method of concatenation ever uh, this is the simplest method of concatenation ever so strings also contain indexing like indexing means like h is at the zero index e is at the one index l is at the two index like in arrays or in list so string also contains some indexing for example like h is at the zero index so indexing always start from left to right so this h is at zero and it starts from zero so h is at the zero index e is at the one index L is second, this L is at third, and O is fourth, and the list goes on. So now let's play with index and check how we can get the uh, particular character by using index. So uh, I'm typing here print and take the and select any you know string. So I'm selecting and I'm taking here str1 and I want to get this L right. So let's count here the h is at the 0 index, e is at the 1 index and l is at the 2nd index. So place here 2 and there is l. So this is how you can get a certain character or a certain number from a string, list or tuple or you know array. So let's move on and, and try to print more than one index. So in this example I am printing the complete word by using the index so i uh, i'm just assessing this hello by using index so same thing str1 and this index start from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so from 1 and the sorry from 0 and the syntax is you have to put the 
colon in between the numbers n till 5 why i'm putting here 5 because this uh, because this 5 will not be included so it will print it will start printing from the zero index till four index and it will exclude this fifth index so now let's print here okay now let's press enter so we are getting the complete word hello so we are actually playing with index so in python we can also play with the negative index so negative index always start from right to left and with minus one minus two minus three so if we put here okay let's just okay let's just copy this and paste here and put here minus two and see what we get so we are getting here u because at minus one there is a question mark at u there and at the second index there is u so we are getting u so this is the concept of indexing in python so now let's move on to the built-in methods uh okay i forgot about substring that how we use substring so this is how we get the substring by using indexing and there are other method also that we can get some substrings uh, so you can simply use indexing to get substrings okay now let's move on to some built-in methods of python so we have uh, discussed that length method so let's check the length of this string one so what it will do it will return us with the total number of the character in the string so simply type here print and the keyword of length is len l e n len and type here the name of string str2 right now i'm uh, taking str2 and the total characters are nine so let's count here one space is two space is also a character so one two three four five six seven eight and nine so there are total nine characters including spaces uh, now let's move on to some other built-in function which is uh, upper and lower so it will convert the string into uppercase or lowercase let's take a string which okay so this is a string which is uh, you know capitalized it has both upper and lowercase so just uh, type here str1 dot lower so i want to just change this str1 into lower hello how are you so as you can see here as you can see in the result there is no capitalization in the string so it has converted all the uh, uppercase letters into lowercase letter same thing we can mm, do with the string to convert it into uppercase just copy this okay and paste it here and change the method upper right hello how are you so it, it has converted all the letters into the uppercase so this these are the benefits of python which you are not getting in any language so python is full of benefits so i always encourage you to learn python okay there are other method like capitalize or encode or count so let's use the count function which is let's copy the and paste it here and str one dot count use your count and let's see what this function do okay so this function actually take one argument and let's see how we can give the argument okay so count function basically count the repetition of words so we have to give here or pass here a particular character which is repeating itself in a string so as we can see that which word is repeating here so like hello o o is repeating itself so it is three times basically one two and three so let's see whether this count function is working or not so just paste here str1 and uh, use the function count and pass here the character o sorry o and let's check so it is repeating it three times these are the simplest easiest and amazing methods of python so right now i cannot use all these function in my ex in examples because the lecture will get too long so i hope you will try it by yourself so see you in the next lecture